Um, you went into more the practical and the concrete, and uh, and you mentioned at the beginning uh, your work in Africa. Um, can you give us an example, uh, and the example you want, but I have one in mind, but you can, you can, you, you may illustrate with another one. I read one of the article that I think is, is, is public on one of the blogs of the World Bank. I found very interesting um, about relationship between the urban areas and rural areas, I think around Kigali, but in, in uh, Rwanda in general, which goes back to your previous point, which, which you made very clear about this distinction between urban and rural is not necessarily the best one because there are synergies and there are trickle down effects even on poverty level uh, that, that are observed, that are also with data. This is official data that has been measured, etc. Um, but going back to a concrete example, have you in, in your work in Rwanda, or again, as I said, another example, can you come back to a point where those different dimensions where we're faced with challenges and it's not that always easy to have a project that cuts across urban development and rural, you know, because our audience, they think, they think about Rwanda, I'll give you an example. Sorry, it's a long question, or but it's more a discussion. They think about Rwanda, they think, oh, I, I know that because I've heard that. Uh, Rwanda is either very urban, it's Kigali. So the World Bank is gonna finance an urban project and we focus just on that. Or Rwanda is very rural, and the World Bank or others, but the World Bank um, may finance rural roads, you know, in, in very rural uh, Rwanda. And so in their mind, there is this disconnect, but you telling me that the data and all the studies show that there would be a benefit to bring that together. So how do you do that? Yeah, that's a very good question. I, well, and you're touching up on the topic that we often um, call as a, a rural urban linkages. And there can be many linkages, of course, um, through the markets. Uh, urban residents rely on sort of food products and other products uh, from the rural areas, while, while you know, rural areas will uh, rely on uh, towns in what we call secondary cities close to uh, rural villages, um, agriculture sites for various um, supply of services and, um, and sometimes infrastructure. So there's clearly the linkage through the market and also people.